We already know that the rudder steers the airplane in the sky, like a boat in the ocean. This is just one of the three primary flight control surfaces. The other two are the elevators and ailerons. They are used for pitching and rolling the airplane respectively. I have also revealed to you in one of my earliest video uploads that an elevon combines the functions of an elevator and an aileron. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. The elevators are responsible for adjusting the flight level by pitching both of them upward or downward. The nose and the tail of an airplane move in opposing directions because the wings are the pivoting points. Unlike the elevators that move in the same direction, the ailerons move in opposing directions where one goes up and the other goes down. This makes it possible to roll the airplane clockwise or counterclockwise. By putting the wings at different flight levels, there would be a difference in airspeed. The airspeed is directly proportionate to the flight level. This is why pilots prefer to fly the airplane at higher altitudes so that they could get through the air faster. Like conventional elevators, the elevons pitch towards the vertical direction the airplane wants to head for. Both of them simultaneously go up or down. Like wing-mounted ailerons, the tail-mounted elevons move in opposing directions where one set goes up and the other goes down. This allows the airplane to turn slightly by tilting on one side. In an Airbus 320, this concept is called the spoileron effect where the spoilers or speed brakes are used like ailerons. But how would the elephants move when the airplane is pitched and rolled simultaneously? The simple answer is that only one of the two sets of elephants would move significantly because the elevator and aileron on one side have opposing directions. They cancel each other's deflections. So the elephants on one side would essentially remain as is. Speaking about the one and only fiery crash of a Concorde, one of if the outer jet engines were mounted above the wings instead of being below just beside the inner ones, the pilots could have probably avoid stalling the airplane by sending less power to the outer engines. Another apps allow the airplane to be flown more slowly at lower flight levels. This allows the pilots to decide whether to continue the takeoff or abort it. When they decided to abort the takeoff, spoilers could have been deployed to slow down the airplane to a complete stop. Because of that role, they are also known as speed brakes. Both flaps and spoilers could have been mounted diagonally in front of the Concorde. 